It's the Big Show. It is the Big Show. The Henderson Settlement Big Show coming to you from China. I'm trying to read your lips, but I, I can't quite read your lips. No, nope. be no lip reading today. <laughs> None of that. None of that, we're huh? Not, we're not on location in China. No. Just in case you're wondering. No. You know, we're not making fun of it. No. I'm just a very cautious person. We don't make fun of things. I don't make fun of nothing. You're cautious. I make no jokes. I'm all business <coughs> all the time. <coughs> Jessica, you want to sit in for me today? Casey got a little cough. Nope, I don't want to ramjins. You don't want to be no part of that? <laughs> well, no part of it. She don't want neither one of us. That's kind of rude. I'll just tell you. I can understand I was, you, but I was all fine. Me? I was all fine and dandy. Yes. Up until just about an hour ago. Uh oh. What happened an hour ago? You was well. I had a revelation. Okay. I did. I had a revelation. You was in the last book of the Bible. Is I that was. What you're telling me? I was okay. reading. All I right. was reading. Right. Got got like two words, and you know, I said that's enough for today. Well, <laughs> kind of overdone it. <laughs> anyway, so after this has been a long week. Oh yes, it a, has been a very rough week. Yes. My beloved Kentucky Wildcats oh. took a brutal, ooh, brutal <laughs> loss to those Tennessee Volunteers. <laughs> oh, and that's actually, really bad. After we are like three or four times better than they are, at least. We had a 17-point lead at home. They just started bickering and having just college kid issues and oh just, no we got beat oh uh, so that's bad enough in bad mood all day yesterday didn't want to deal with nobody didn't want to talk to nobody did a bad mood but i had to do it yeah had to put on my happy face then today yes about an hour and a half ago i had this revelation <laughs> we're back to revelation where i saw on the news that the governor of tennessee See where I'm going with this? I, I'm getting there, yeah. The governor of Tennessee said that they had their first confirmed oh. coronavirus case. Oh. Out near Nashville. Uh-oh. So. Did it blow in with that tornado? I don't know. I, you know, we're, I'm not making fun of that situation. No, that's either, a, no. That is a, that's just a tragic situation. It, it was. We, we very... pray for those people and families. And, oh. Yeah, that's just terrible. But, with this coronavirus thing, I feel like, you know, um, Tennessee's out to get me. <laughs> so, hey. start, Tennessee's out to get me, and I want to be prepared. Okay. <laughs> start to get a little close to home. Right. Don't want to take no chances. Yes. So, just want to make sure. But, since it's in Nashville, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to live on the edge. Okay. I'm going to live on the edge right now. Just take it, take I my I thought chances. maybe you had something and you was trying to keep the rest no. of us from getting it. No, actually, no. Thought I was going to live on the edge. All well, right. That was my coronavirus speech. Okay. Wash your hands. Outside of that, people, quit panicking. It ain't that bad. Gee whiz. <laughs> Calm down. No big deal. Unless you get it. Then yeah, you know, yeah maybe big yeah. deal. I mean, it's the, it's the flu. Yeah. It just it gives you pneumonia. Just have trouble breathing, go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Very unprofessional advice. Just throwing that out there to you people. Don't panic. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Oh, wait a minute. If you get a if you get a wet box from Amazon, don't don't I, touch I it and touch I, your face. Yeah, I tell you one thing. Somebody sneezed on it. If it does get around here, I am a had lad because I cannot keep my hands off my nose, my ears. Wait a minute. I got them backwards. My ears, my nose, my <laughs> eyes, my face. I can't do it. I wash my hands. Can't keep them off my face, so I just, I just. Cause you like your face. My nose is always itchy, but you got a hunker like that. You yeah, well, you know. So anyway, that's our public service announcement. A PSA. <coughs> that's it. That just happened. Do we got any business to cover today? Apparently not a lot. No. Just because. I got one thing. No, no. Oh, you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did that last week. It's your turn. We need you people. We need, I keep going the wrong direction. We, had, we thought we had a great big group coming, but it turns out they're not. Yes, so I know. Now, so now we just maybe got a few. Yeah, so we need a few more. We We'd some, like a few more. We need more. some more. It's well, more, more fun if we have a yeah, few more. Yeah. This is our Get Acquainted event, and it is a lot of fun. It is. 
and oh, you come down twenty five dollars. That's it, twenty five dollars, and you get two nights stay. You get meals. You get to interact with people. Yeah, you get to deal with Jerry. You get me. Um, <laughs> he might even take you on a tour, three hour tour. If you need your mask, we'll provide you. A mask. Yeah, we'll provide you a mask. We got yeah. those. Yep, it's all good. But that's a new addition. This is March. 22nd, 20, yep. 23rd, and 24th. That's you right. come on a Sunday and leave on a Tuesday morning. That's right. And you can't beat the deal if you just want to come down here can't. and harass Jerry for those three days. We've got work teams here. Yes. A lot of activity going on. It'll be a great we got special work teams, ones we know that'll oh, give a good. Excellent. Yeah, we, we hand selected. We we paid them good up. If another good one to come that week, no, you don't like us as good, so you can't. Yeah, we we don't want you telling you a bad story. You can come either the week before or the week after. You can't, come that <laughs> week. can't come that week. But yeah, you can. I tell you what, I'm disappointed in. We've been online for like uh, what's that say? Six minutes. Six minutes. No comments. And seven people. Seven people are watching. Seven. It was up to twelve there a minute ago. Well, they got scared. They were afraid they're going to get the virus. Well, I see. That's what it is. People probably didn't want to go back off. Keep all yeah. the distance. You know, computer virus. Yeah. Coronavirus might come through your computer. No, they say wearing these masks they do absolutely zero good. Okay. Unless you got it. And then, yeah, you're not going to spread it. If you got the flu or the coronavirus or something ugly. Or something like that, it's good to wear them because you're less likely to spray your droplets. <laughs> but if you don't have it, these masks are pretty worthless. It's not keeping it from getting in. Back to the event. So sign up for this event. <laughs> you can do that by calling us through our website. You can contact us through the news page that's right on there that you yeah. can send your information in and good stuff. All good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. So seriously, you are. I mean, if you're out there and you have, I can't imagine why we don't have you, just a gazillion I mean, people I, wanting I, to come. You, I mean, if you've got the time to do it, yeah, and you don't even have to stay. For the whole thing, if for some reason you're scheduled, you know, if you want to come and leave Monday night, you can leave Monday night. Yeah. You know, I mean. We'll so, take you any time. Yeah. So, yeah, so you consider know. Consider that. If you know people out there that, that maybe have expressed an interest or like to know more or something, and it not just has to be a work camp. I mean, you get to learn about the settlement. Everything. Specifically, work camp is, is great uh, about bringing a work team, but, you know, if just in general. Uh, you know, if you say, Learn well, about you know, the settlement I've itself. considered supporting them, but I don't know exactly what they do and if I should Great opportunity to do Yeah, come check us out. Of course, you get a good round feel for it. Yeah. Know that so, we actually do some good yeah, work down here. That's right. We do a lot of good work. Yeah, a lot of good So anyway, so that's that. Now. What else we got? We got, uh, uh, we got, a, we got, a, we got a face mask. Back to the face got mask. That. Just want to make sure people know that. We're good. <laughs> got that out there. <laughs> You ain't got any comments. Check nope. your phone. My, I think my computer might. Well, be. sometimes that does people, happen. People ought to be with this many people. They ought to be saying something. I feel like I'm. I feel like we're talking to ourselves. I think maybe. Which I happen to do that a lot, but nonetheless, Jessica back there. Hello, Jessica. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How, how's the projects list coming? It's it's almost done. Is it almost done? We listen. We have been tying up loose ends, making some corrections, making sure everything is good. We're a little behind. We actually wanted to post that Monday, but Harry has been delayed in getting some of his home improvement applications. Well, that and getting out to him. Getting out to it, part of it. Sliding around in the mud. He likes to make sure he contacts people before he arrives, and sometimes people, um, yeah, it's a he's not able to reach them. Right. So then he, leaving the cards, and then so anyway, we we are going to publish the projects list, community projects list, the Frakes community. Still got to get to White Oak. That's coming right. up soon next week. Okay. And we're going next week one way or another. We're going okay. To, so we should be able to publish that by the end of next week. Right. For the yeah, because that... But we're not as under the under the gun for it as other. No, no. But anyway, so the Frakes community list, um, I'm hoping I have every expectation of posting it late this evening. Tomorrow morning at the very worst. Just depends on how tied up I get this afternoon. Okay. Just got a few things. Just right? let so, your website what, person what, know what you're doing yeah, so will, that, that they can so take care the, of that for you. The thing is, is, it will prob probably be about 98% complete. There was is likely that we'll be adding a f five oh, or well, six more that, yeah. he's, that he's trying to get those loose ends out of. But I can't, I don't want to keep putting it off because it's right. getting too close, getting yeah. too tight. People are looking so, for it. Uh, so 
either late this evening by 5 o'clock or by tomorrow morning by noon at the worst. Okay. Uh, so one of those two times it'll pop up. Um, and so be watching for that if you're a uh, uh, work camp leader or a group or someone connected with that and want to get on Do that. you send out emails con to people that it's up to? I think, I, don't, I think Jessica does that, sends out alert emails to let people know what's going up. Yeah, if we have that. And uh, so uh, if you don't have access to that community projects list, it is password protected. If you've got a work team coming, contact Jessica or myself, and we'll give you that password. Yep. Now, if you're For anonymity. Yeah, I'll, and, yeah. And Anonymous. I'll, I'll them, them, Anim them, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably using those. <laughs> those big words. Those big words. I have to go look up after the show. Yes. I don't know how to respond to those. Yes. So anyway, so that's that, that's coming up. So that that's really big, really, actually. I mean, that's really a lot big. of people waiting on really that. Really big. Uh, oh so well, yeah. Gonna, we are doing. Um, we are going to do the highlighting in some way, and and we're still. I'm trying to get a hold of our database um, administrator to see exactly how he wants to do that. So that may oh, not immediately right. pop up, but there's going to be some situations that we're going to highlight as a priority community home project. Right. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, there's so somebody calling right probably, now for that probably password. I don't know what that password is. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell them. <laughs> I ain't gonna take that call. You know why? <laughs> why? I ain't gonna do it good. Yeah. It won't be out till the day. Yeah, we can't tomorrow. use it yet, anyways. Why, why rush it? Why rush a good thing? That's if I right. had a good secretary, she'd answer that. It wasn't my phone. Yeah. But I can't answer my phone. That wasn't your phone. It was an it, all over phone. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't realize. That why was, was it ringing at my phone then? It looked like Harry. No, it's my or phone. My phone did not disturb. Oh, mine's not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not disturbed like you are. <laughs> Anyway, anyways, so no no talking. comments. Just so, so you know, okay, very just good. some people watching. All right, but, just watching. And we're let's, back. Let's we were up to twelve, and yeah. it's now eleven. Let's know you out there, people. Somebody say hello. Somebody say hey. We're yeah, good. we feel like we're talking to if, ourselves here. If you type a message and talk to us, it does not mean there's a chance that you're going to catch the jury, <laughs> the, the jury virus, the jury virus. You're safe out there. <laughs> you're safe out there in big show world. <laughs> we had a visitor on campus yesterday. Did we? Yeah. Did you see him? Mike Feely. Oh, well, yeah. Former Big Show co-host person. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. was we was uh, raiding the greenhouse. He brought me some uh, worm dirt. Worm dirt. Worm dirt. Oh, don't be feeding the worms. No. Speaking of greenhouses. Yeah. Looks like you've got a display for today. Well, you talked about being behind or something yeah. about behinds earlier, and that reminded me, too, that I want to show you my bloomers. Hey, hey, hey. Gee whiz. This is a family show. Cut that out. Well... <laughs> I got some big bloomers. Oh, you got them. Look at this. Oh. Isn't that pretty? That is nice. And these are still just babies yet. Man, they haven't been planted that's, that long, that's but they're blue. like. You talk about a nice mother's they're day. They're like over. Wow. That would be a beautiful mother's over day. Overworking there. And then, that is nice. What, what kind of plant is that? Th this is a. a geranium? Wait, no. It's a begonia. A begonia? A begonia. And well, you be gone. I'll no. Be, I'll be gone soon. You be gone over. now. And, begonia? And, yeah. 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 You be gone, yeah. So, anyways, uh, we like to call them angel wing. Yeah, they're it's beautiful. a tuberous begonia, but yeah, nobody cares to hear gorgeous. that. I love that. Um, and this will get as big as this pot. I mean, it'll be huge eventually. Yeah. But we're not selling them until I mean, well, I could sell them now, but but not yet. Not, really. not yet. Yeah. You know, usually we start in mid April. Mid April. Sometime yeah. selling. Mid April. Op keep your eyes open. Filled. Open the greenhouse up and. You see this plant mid April? It'll be twice, three, oh, four times. It'll be, it'll be huge. Nice be huge. Can't be much prettier. Though. No, no. That's couldn't. a beautiful color. And there's some others that have like one blossom or so, but this one really is overachieving to try to uh, do that. And um, if we have some little marigolds, they're so happy. Look Mar how happy Marigold. the little marigolds are. Aww. Okay, I'm done. So, those are my bloomers. I have showed my bloomers on the big show. Well, I hate to tell you this, but your bloomers kind of have an odor. Well, you kind of, I kind of got that Mary goes smell there, don't you? Oh, I throw my eyes <laughs> Good Lord. I don't think these have a. Those don't smell like nothing. No. I don't think. No, I can't you smell them. No. Them okay. Mary goes though. They, they. I mean. They oh got yeah, that. no, they, and and I use them um, as part of my uh, pest control. Some of the pests that we have up there, like you. <laughs> what's your what's your messes there? They get a little, a little wet. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. pest yeah. control. 
Uh, they say they are good for that. I've heard. Yes, that. yes. Some so, people like will plant them around their garden. Well, keep deer away. That's and a, rabbits. And that's stuff. why these are actually on early yeah. because I planted some of these first thing to put in amongst some of the plants that are a little more pest uh, collectors. Yeah. Some of the plants are very tasty that's interesting. and and the um, the bugs, aphids, and the other little creatures like to get on them and suck the life out of them. So yeah. we say. Go away. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard people say that, you know, they will keep, like, if you plant them around your garden, mm -hmm. that they'll keep rabbits and, and deer and stuff like well, that. I don't and have too much trouble with rabbits in the greenhouse, but... You don't have too much trouble with rabbits around here lately anymore, period. But well, no, there's they, been, a like, an outbreak of rabbits uh, here suddenly. That, coyotes, coyotes have cleaned them up a lot. Yeah, they have. I'd rather have the rabbits than the coyotes. So. Well, and I had a deer statue in my yard when I went home for lunch. Yeah. Well, at least I was thought it, I did. Was it posing? It did. It was, it was like in a stance, you know, and I thought, who put that deer statue in my yard? And, and you know, I know it's a real deer, but, you know, I came back around, made my lunch, come I mean, back I, out, and it was still there, but it was heading the other yeah. direction. I saw a couple of them on the side of the hill over there yeah. this morning. Harry and I was looking at them. I bet I know what was going on, though. What? It was frozen. It, it, they thought that they heard Jessica coming. Oh, we look like a statue. We don't want. To, we don't want to wind up like those squirrels in the work camp office. Ha ha ha! We'll keep keep my bloomers in the, the yeah, screen there. Yeah, little little flower. A little, little. My mom always called me her little flowers. Oh yeah, we know why. Her little flower. I told you. I ask her, why you call me your little flower, mom. She said because you're a blooming idiot. Now get yeah. on. Oh, that like somebody. Crazy thing. <sighs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that's good. So uh, well, we, yeah, we, we got lots. Of, I mean, we got. Thousands of hanging baskets. I went yeah. crazy with hanging baskets, and we we're gonna get the orders out pretty soon to the mm -hmm. churches that like to uh, put their orders in for Mother's Day, yeah. and then they bring down a donation, and then they mm -hmm. take the plants back with them. Mm -hmm. And so, and I I ran out of some stuff last year because it it was such a huge success, yeah. even before I opened the greenhouses. So I have planted a whole lot more geraniums, angelonias, and um, the New Guinea impatience that we ran of last year, Vinca. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. So hopefully by mid March, kind of like your thing, um, I'll, I'll have those order forms ready for people. Wow. Yeah. I really is big. That's, I mean, that's I mean, you were up there this morning. Yeah, yeah it pretty full. Yeah. Now the other greenhouse. Well, that back there, so far back in that one, first greenhouse, Harry and I went in. You had like black plastic draped. Oh, the that's thing. impatience. They don't like the sun. Oh. And it's too sunny in there for them. So not, they get an extra little bit of shade. They're not religious? No. They don't like the sun? They don't like the sun. Catch that, catch that play on words. Like that. I have some that are more I'll sun. Tell you what, I am totally, listen, something we have done something wrong. Uh-oh. Not one comment. I know. I don't understand. Something there must is, be a problem because it's not showing on here either. Talk to us out there, people. Shows something. all these people are watching. Yeah. But for some reason, they're not commenting. We're Jessica, going. send us a comment. Yeah. Oh, they're going to call in instead gonna call of coming. So I can hear you. Talk to me. Anyway, so if you're sending us a message, we're currently not seeing it. I'm sorry. We would reply to you. We would respond. We love each and every one of you. We're glad you're watching. So, uh, so the next out of our business. There's a bunch of people phones in the moment. Oh, can you see it? Mm -hmm. Well, bring we're it We're not seeing it. Bring it over here. Let me look at it. Eric Reese says hello. Well, bring it over here to me. Mine just says all these people are watching. Nobody's. Let me get out of it and come back. Yeehaw! Woo! That was a fun ride. Man, I better put my glasses on. I got Jessica. Yeah. I got Jessica's phone. I hope nothing from the oh squirrels. Did she wash her hands? Squirrels Anonymous pops up on here. Squirrels Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just happened. Oh, that. Well, uh, let's see. Erica Dina Ross says hello. Hey, Erica. Appreciate that. Uh, Josh Bay says uh, life out loud. Well, I don't know if that's good or bad, but we'll, we'll take it as good. Yeah, we'll take it as good. Linda we like G, gorgeous for... plant. Oh. Well, oh, thank you. I thank hope she's you not very talking much. about me. Uh, Judy Wilson, hello from North Webster, Indiana. Hey, Judy, glad you're watching. Mike Feely, two of my favorite late bloomers. Well, late bloomers. Mike Feely, don't you? You just watch it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Linda G, comment. <laughs> Linda, you a card. That's what you are. You're <laughs> she a real put card. Comment in the comments. Yeah. Is that Mike what Feely? Did? Don't get impatient, Jerry. Oh, I, oh, I'm too oh, late. Oh, impatience. I was already Got impatient. It. I was already lit up like a candle. Uh, Buffy says, it's Casey and her stinky bloom. Oh, Buffy, cut right through them. My fluff right to Right them. to my stinky Straight bloomers. My face says, and how's the kale? Oh, oh, the kale is coming along nice. Is it? Yeah, I, I planted a new patch, and it's it's 
they're getting up about that tall even since he's been here. Yeah. Yeah. He's my kale thief. Oh. Well. He brings me worm dirt and I pay him in kale. Michael Kale Feely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Patricia Paris. Now, this one is important. Okay. Do you need mugs for the greenhouse this year? Okay. What it is, um, we need, we may need a few nice ceramic mugs and stuff, but the one school has asked that we no longer do ceramic mugs because they had breakage yeah. last year and they were afraid somebody's going to get cut and hurt. So we need plastic sort of things, like whether it's plastic mugs or... Um, actual little small pots and stuff that are decorative and uh, say it I don't say luckily when they go home they're not around like ceramic mugs or anything yeah, like I that. know but it's the transporting them and being on the bus and stuff if they if, I know so we are complying we, we're trying to help we as a society have turned into a bunch of pansies Gosh. I got pansies planted, too. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We got some pansies, too. Yeah. Snapdragons. Move, and... move. <laughs> move along. So, yes, we, we, we could use some mugs, but uh, we could use some plastic items. We have little six-inch hanging baskets that, that are approved because they're plastic and yeah. that sort of stuff. But, yeah, we could use some plastic sort of stuff. All right, so we've hit that. So, hit it. Uh, Gene Volker says, hi from North Michigan. Hi, Gene. Uh Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we're back to this. Yeah. That, hygiene. That mask is at work from her mask. Hygiene. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Patricia Parrish. Oh, boy, she's on it today. Patricia is. When will the project list be available? Well, uh, it, maybe you joined us late. No, I don't care. Repeat that. Uh, either late this afternoon by 5 p.m. And if not by 5 p.m., it'll probably be before noon tomorrow. Definitely at the latest noon tomorrow. At the latest. Right. Um, uh, let's see. Where are you Rebecca Smith says, "Hey Jerry, love you, Mom." Becca, every time. I don't. I don't. Becca, Jessica, come on. Well, well yeah, but I, why she calling me Mom? I don't know. Hey Jerry, love you, Mom. Yeah, maybe it's something. I she don't got. Know about. She got that new car. She's all confused. Oh. Congratulations on your vehicle. Oh there. my gosh! Yeah. She, uh, Rebecca, I saw that. That was nice. I didn't make a comment because I was jealous. Yeah, she got a good deal. Hadn't had been there. Had been for that, I would, have, I would have been coming. Uh, Linda G says, I need a Kentucky trip. Yes, you do, Linda. Let's do something about that. You need to get down here. I uh, said, Mike Feely says, do you need mug shots? Oh, yeah. yeah. We don't actually know. We got plenty. Gonna sign yeah, the yeah, they're down at the post office. Oh, oh. We need a bigger post office for all the mug yeah. shots. That are yeah, they got some many pictures hanging down there. Or is, or is he just saying shots? We could, uh, well, no, we're not doing that. Rebecca doing says, that. save me some flowers, please. Well, yeah, there should be a couple left over. Rebecca's on it. All right, so you keep commenting, and from this point forward, Jessica's going to read all comments. Uh-oh. Uh, great. Mary First is looking forward to seeing your bloomers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Jessica. Love you most. Thank Boy. you. Yeah, but if, if you have to bake for it, it don't count as much. Okay, so they're they're coming it. up on mine now. So Okay, all right, we got that. I don't know what the deal is with it. So we're yeah, back. they're not coming up on we're, here we're at all. We're back. We're back live action. We better so, hurry up there. Live will just cut us off right as usual. So we, so we talked about projects. Now, the White Oak List, as I mentioned, that should come out uh, by the end of next week. And the campus list, Harry and I have been working the last couple of days yes. getting those together. So that also slows down his That's why he was visiting this me this morning. So, so he, Otherwise, we're, he, he don't. We're putting that list together. We here. There's a good likelihood that'll be available by the end of next week. Yeah. We really need to get all that wrapped up because the following week, the we're 15th. Busy. That's when work teams start. Yeah, coming. we're busy. So we start jumping, and we are really excited about that. Um, just a quick reminder before we wrap things up. Man, we've got a good crew today, 23 people. We're yeah. so excited about that. Woo um, a couple of things. Oh, wrong hand. One, one of the things that we're going to be doing with work camp uh, this year, we're going to try it at the beginning. We're going to be seeing, I may have already mentioned this, uh, but especially if you're a new team, we want to kind of set up like a video call and talk with you a little bit, kind of answer any questions before you arrive, make sure you're taking proper directions, getting here, not... Yeah. Doing some things that might get you lost. So, uh, you know, be expecting that. We'll be contacting you probably a couple of weeks ahead of time to set it up for the week before you arrive. Right. So we're doing that. But we anticipate doing some type of follow-up either at the end of the week you're here or the following week uh, just to talk to you about how your trip was and that type of thing. Now, that will probably not be me doing that. We'll probably try to have someone who um, will be more, you know, that way, you know. What we're trying to get is we want honest input. 
you know, and if I'm talking to somebody, I don't want somebody to say, well, you know, I like Jerry, you know, or he's okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to say anything. You know, so it's, we're not. We're going to have an impartial not, poll taker. That's what, we, sort that's of what we're looking for. We're not. Yeah. We're not looking for negative comments, certainly. But you know, if somebody might have something, they say, but we well, I, I wish they would do that better. I wish, you know, they they have this meal. I, you know, that meal was, you know, it wasn't bad, but you know, my group just. You know, they like nice stuff. Right. Yeah. You know, so just kind of getting feedback, and I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, corrective. They might. Or they might. Constructive hesitate. Yeah. criticisms are yeah. not bad. But we also we want we want reaffirmation too. Right. Or affirmation, of you know, if there's things that listen. If, if we're great, doing something right, yeah. You know, we really enjoyed that. You know, you know, so you know that affirmation helps us too. So, um, so that's going to be happening if you're uh, regardless of whether your first time, been right. here many times, whatever. So we're going to start doing that. We used to give out these evaluations and we got a few back. So we just yeah, people don't. It's a waste of paper. Yeah, so we will actually so have a we, person. We prefer to do that with as many people in the group as possible, but you know, it is what it is. The second thing is <gasps> two things. Two, and I've done forgot. It. Oh, I got through. I got through number one. It kind of went downhill from there. Did it? Yeah. Number forgot. two thing. Number two. Did it have That's anything to do with the first thing? To do, yeah, I probably did. Uh, something we're doing new this year. Something new we're doing has something to do with work camp. Oh, well. There's a reason I began writing things down. Rick Evans. Oh, Rick Evans. Is, is. Is, is says, I'll let you say it because it's Rick warm. Evans. Hi, everyone. Well, see, he just includes everyone. Hi, Rick. See, Rick, he is he is not a segregator. Yeah. He throws everybody in there. He includes Jessica. Yep. Blue, the whole nine yards. Yep. He, Rick, he's on it. He's on it. Um, let's see. Shoot. Uh, oh, man, I hate it when that happens. And, and as soon as we log off, you'll be like, off, I, say, I meant to say that. Yep. I wish I'd said that. Yeah. Um, and you didn't mention it to me earlier, so mm -hmm. I, I can't. Oh, it just popped you. in my head. It popped right back out. Uh, so, anyway, so that's, you know, work camp's getting cranked up. And, oh, I know what it was. Uh, the second thing is, is remember. Now, especially this is going to impact the work camp office um, a fair amount this spring. So, as we mentioned to you uh, last week, so the entire settlement. Uh, staff has had some hour reductions. Yes. Okay, so um, that uh, impacts us uh, in a number of different ways. N none are huge as far as um, getting in contact or communicating things like that. Um, Jessica, in the work camp office, so she, for the um, next few months, will not be in the office on Fridays. Is that correct, Jessica? Yes. So, so if you're calling or leaving messages, you're not going to get as quick of a response right. as you would as if Jessica was here. I'm in and out of the office a lot. I'll try to handle as much of that. I'll try to cover her messages and her phone. But it's just not going to be as quickly as it normally would be. So if you're requesting projects, if you're um, calling, you know, don't panic. No, oh, yeah. You know, We're leave, here leave somewhere. A message. I mean, not that you would panic, but don't, right. don't feel like, well, you know, they're just not answering the phone. It's That's all it is. So, you know, that's so that's part of it. That's yeah. why we need folks to come on work camp. Uh, so, because that helps with income rate and cash flow and, right. and the whole nine yards. Uh, we need people to remember us and pray for us, send donations if, if you can, and are yeah. in a position to do that regardless of size. You know, if oh, it's yeah. $5, if it's $500, you know, regardless, you know, what, all adds up. 5000 50000 100000 whatever. Right. That makes, because there's not one person here on staff that is not impacted by that. Yes. Uh, so we are all. Everybody. Uh, even you, part, directors and all, the higher ups, the everybody. Everybody. Uh, in many ways, the, 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 we, the leadership, are. Took the, hardest hit so to speak yeah uh because of, of the cuts in our you know not fussing about that but it's what we don't want to make people think is well you know that they're, they're good everybody else got cut nope no nope. really the leadership everybody is more um impacted financially i guess than than other folks so irregardless that's, that's just want you to understand that and that's across campus right thrift stores impacted by it. um dining hall very much impacted oh, by very it. much yes um uh, outreach food pantry those places, you know, I, I, everybody yep. impacted by that cut. So between now and because it started across the board this past Monday. Yes. Yep. So between now and the end of May, um, that's going to be the situation, barring uh, some miraculous um, um, windfall of money. Windfall, you know, if somebody wanted to make a huge donation or a church wanted to do something, that would help us tremendously. And so, he heaven forbid. I mean, one of the legacies come through, you know, yeah. from somebody's will yeah. or something like that. I mean, and that's another thing we don't talk about enough. We need to talk about it here. And actually, I remember what the other thing was now. Okay. Um, but the, um, um, you know, 
another way you can help us, maybe not immediately, but it might be, you know, five years. It could be 20 years, but, you know, uh, put us in wills and bequests, you know, uh, whether that's a small percentage or whatever, you know. The, yeah, become it, part of our freak yeah, society. Yeah, that that helps, you know. And then a few years ago, about five, six years ago, we had a couple of those come in, and that actually helped float us in many ways up until this point to keep us from right. having to have layoffs yep. and stuff. So that makes a huge difference. Right. So, so we appreciate that. It really, really, really does. Well, if you know people who are looking for places to support. Martha if Whitworth says hello. Who? Martha Whitworth. Martha Whitworth says hello. We appreciate you, Martha. I'm not familiar with that name being on here before, so we appreciate you watching. So those are the type of things, you know, we, we need you. Yes. You know, if, you know we, we, the last, last, um, I guess the winter newsletter is that it? Yeah, the winter newsletter yeah. went out. We we fear that perhaps people misunderstood, misunderstood. Yeah. what we were trying to communicate. Yes, you know we had this uh, fundraising event, and and that went pretty well. It went better than some of the uh, prior um, yeah. responses we've got. But the problem was the shortfall up to that point was so great it, that that it took it up. That it was it just filled up. It didn't even fully overcome that no so it's important for us to be able to have enough funds and and that at was the all end of december to kind of help us get through the first especially january february march and and mid-april um till work teams start coming in so um and we didn't have that this year so right. that that's where we are so you know that's why you know we need to and now so now we're we're you know just struggling we are so we need that But support. that helped us finish 2019 yeah. pretty good. But it made it yeah. sound like we were good all the way across the board. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, and that's not the at case. zero or at, at, less. Yes, and less at the beginning of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, you know, uh, we're sorry that we, you know, confused people. We were just trying to let them know, yeah. you know, how well we did with And not others. everybody was confused by that. No, I no, but, but quite I, a few if people I, if have. If I had read that, if I'd been sitting out there. Just reading that and didn't have a whole lot of. I was thinking, oh man, that's great. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, they're doing good. They've been blessed, and we have. Well, and that, and we kind of saw that too, because when we send out the newsletter, usually we get a lot of those envelopes back, and we did mm -hmm. not get yeah. a lot of those envelopes back. So remember that. Um, also, know that we're working. Uh, we have again working on our spring appeal. Appeal. Yep. So that'll be coming up. But if you, you know, that uh, that don't let that keep you from if you want to donate don't say well i'll just wait for the spring appeal we need it now yeah yeah you know that's that'd be fantastic and then there won't be another newsletter that. until the end of april yeah so so that's where we are with that so if you need more information have comments yep suggestions questions contact us email us call us we're happy to talk to you about that kind of educate you better educate your church or group or affiliation whatever case that may be if you know foundations or places out there who maybe need uh, that we can tap into to at least um, see about uh, supporting us that'd be great too so the other thing the final thing and we'll close it out is we're going to start a new segment new segment a new segment as part of the big show uh oh so good thing so we've got this senior recognition thing we got going on yeah that's a good thing so we plan on doing that next week uh, I think the big uh, the the birthday guy will be here next week okay uh, kind of hit on February yeah, uh, and, and and might as well go ahead and do March while we're at it today. Yeah, but we uh, are expecting that Jane Grubbs, who uh, most years had worked in the main office, now she's out, up working in outreach. You know, she's been doing this history thing. Right. So she got she gathered a lot of historical information and things like that. So we're going to start once a month. Okay. We're going to see if we can bring Jane on. Bring Jane on. Okay. You know, my my, my maybe if one of those days I'm gone. My redneck come out. Bring. 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 Yeah. Not bring. Gonna bring. Bring. Yeah. Gonna, gonna bring uh, Jane on uh, to maybe do, you know, have a few pictures oh, yeah. and, and talk just a little bit about what that was about, you know, so, um, you know, and kind of maybe begin walking through slowly about yeah, stuff. some of this. So, you know, just maybe spend five minutes doing that. You know, that may not be interesting to some folks, but some folks oh. out there I think it'd be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get here without knowing what your history is. Right. So, right. So that's where we're. So. A lot of good stuff went on back then. That's yeah. A little different than what it is now. Yeah, yeah. And Jane, Jane's been doing great at that, and and we, I think she <clears throat> she'll enjoy that. And I hope the folks out there. Great. So we won't bore you to death with it, but we may bore you a little, Martha, or you may be extremely excited. What's that? Martha Whitworth says she owns the Frosty Freeze. The Frosty Freeze. Yeah. Where's that? I don't know. Martha, where's the Frosty Freeze? I'd like to have a Frosty. 
That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'd like to have that. It's a warm day Don't today. Don't want to go to McDonald's and get an ice cream because your ice cream machine ain't working. It always, always, it seems. That happened to me the other day, and I was not happy. Hillside put it, said theirs is going to be now up again pretty soon. I asked said they've opened up next week. Oh. I am excited about that. Uh, yeah. Frosty freeze. See if Martha says when the frost, what, where's, uh, where's she got the fr owners the frosty I freeze? Come on, Martha, before we end this, I want to know. Frosty freeze, where's that, where's that located at? Yeah. What's up? What's up for that? Send me a frosty. Freeze? Freeze. Oh, oh. Caswell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I now know what. Yeah. I don't get that far well, most I, days, yeah, but I'm, I have seen it. Yeah, I've been yeah. over through that. I know what she's talking about now. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah. have to make a field well, trip. Well, Martha, that's great. I appreciate you <laughs> oh, watching. Oh, could we do it live from the Frosty Freeze? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, think about that. Martha. How would you like to have a big show on site at the Frosty Freeze? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that'd be awesome. I hadn't thought about that. You know, I mean, we would like that. That'd be, that'd be cool. We might even, <laughs> be we worth even, a trip. We might even buy a Frosty Freeze. Right yeah. There. That's pretty cool. We have to get a van right. loaded. Well, Martha, people. we appreciate that. <laughs> we, we do. And we appreciate the rest of it. Man, today was a great day. We numbers was up like around 23. Yeah. At one time. So that, that's a great show. It was well, my bloomers. It got them bloomers out there. So we appreciate you joining us. We'll be back here at 1 o'clock next Thursday. And, and man, things are cranking up. And, and we'll be we'll be moving on. Folks, pray for us. Pray for Anderson Settlement. Pray for this community. Pray for one another. Pray for this. You know, we made a little fun with the with the yeah, uh, coronavirus. But, you know, it's, but that it's does all over. I mean, it's it's you know, that's a lot of people are worried and concerned, and we don't want to make fun of that. Yeah. So so pray for that. We we hope that that'll pass and uh, people will be. You want to touch recovered. my boomers? I want. I want ooh, <laughs> God bless you. See you next week. <laughs>